After recent collapse of FTX, it's only natural that you might want to go totally decentralized. And in this video, I'm going to show you how, because there's a couple of decentralized crypto exchanges that you can use right now uh, and are great to use. So uh, you have to start with a wallet. And of course, MetaMask is the most popular wallet, at least for Ethereum and EVMs, which is Ethereum virtual machines, all the blockchains that are built on Ethereum, like Binance or all the layers too, like Polygon, Avalanche or Arbitrum. Uh, so we have to install MetaMask to start. Uh, going to metamask.io, the link is down below as all the links for all the platforms I will mention. So going to metamask.io is the best way to start. Also, uh, with the confirmation of the MetaMask airdrop, it's worth playing around with MetaMask to maybe be eligible for an airdrop later on. Uh, so starting with MetaMask, they have really great support for how you set up your own wallet. Uh, you will need to have your seed phrase. Seed phrase is this password that will allow you to recover your crypto later on. Not your keys, not your crypto. Uh, as the saying goes, so really important to have your seed phrase written. They will instruct you through the, uh, through the videos, through the tutorials, how to do it exactly. Uh, really recommend going through that if you're just starting with non-custodial wallets or how to basically own your own crypto because that's probably the best way to own crypto, having it on your own wallet. However, there are different risks, like you can always lose the password, someone can steal it and then, you know, you will lose it. Uh, with exchanges, it's uh, much easier. You only have one password and then there's a bunch of other securities, 2FA, things like that. However, then still, uh, if an exchange collapses, then you, everything is gone. So uh, you never know what people are doing with your funds. So even the best exchanges after FTX, FTX was number two, it's really hard to trust. And it's only natural that you want to have most of your funds in different places and having that on a decentralized uh, wallet on your own non-custodial wallet is the best way. Also, you might want to invest in a hardware wallet. I will talk about different wallets like that uh, in a separate video. I just want to get started. So MetaMask, and then you might want to ask where you can trade. And actually uh, the biggest decentralized exchange is Uniswap. Uh, on Uniswap, you have basically all the tokens possibly manageable, manageable uh, in, a, in a world of Ethereum, uh, all the meme coins. Uh, starting with uh, Shiba Inu, of course, but a lot of others that are wrapped versions of the of the real tokens. And if you just want to buy and hold, then uh, Uniswap is the best. This is the this is just the front. You can also interact just with the smart contract. Uh, this was tested multiple times over and over. Uh, so Uniswap is really, really great here. They not, do not hold your funds. You're just swapping and it's on your account, uh, on your wallet, on your MetaMask. Uh, so that's it. If you want to go even farther because you don't want to only hold, you like looking up the charts and you want to really trade, uh, then there are two uh, bigger exchanges that you can use, GMX and uh, Day Y, Day X. Uh, I'm going to talk about the both of them. So let's start with Day Y, Day X. Uh, this is how it looks like. So this might be familiar for you. Uh, basically, you have a graph but, and uh, all the exchanges are using the same uh, graphs coming from trading view so it's all familiar so you have the same indicators you might have actually it's pretty much similar to ftx so if you use ftx day by day x uh, is very very similar also you have the books the trade uh, the trade the recent trades uh, it works similarly the only thing is everything works on chain uh, they do not hold your funds in any way. Everything you're doing, you're doing on chain. So it's really, really great. And you have many main coins that you can trade with. So that's a good thing. You won't have, of course, so many coins as uh, centralized exchanges, but you still have a big choice of coins that you can do. Uh, so this is really cool. Uh, you can go to, for example, portfolio, rewards, uh, see... The cool thing is they have their own token, they why they X and by uh, trading, you can basically earn some of the, some of that back in, in their own coins. So that's one thing. Uh, second platform that I wanted to mention is JMMX. And this is a platform that I'll put the link down below that you can use my referral link to get some bonus. Uh, and then after going basically to trading, you can see that uh, it also looks very much similar. So uh, here you have if to USD, but you can also change the pair to uh, a bunch of other coins. Uh, they have only four uh, pairs at this moment. 
ETH, BTC, Link USD, and UNI. Everything is happening on our Bitroom. So after you connect your wallet, uh, you'll be able to trade uh, pretty quickly uh, here on GMX. Uh, so all in all, those two platforms, GMX and DYDX, they basically will allow you to trade more professionally if you want to look at the charts and like think about the positions. The greatest thing is that everything is on chain. You are the own custodian of your own funds and that's the most important thing. So coming back, uh, really think about the security. If you're trading just a little bit, uh, then there's really no point in having all your assets at the centralized exchange. Uh, have either a hardware wallet. Uh, I'll also talk about Gnosis. Uh, there, I think I actually did in one of the videos talking about the Gnosis, which is a multi-seq wallet. And this is the kind of a 2FA that you can have in crypto, which is even more secure. Uh, so they have this audited smart contracts that you can use to have. Well, basically you have the vault where you hold your crypto and in order to do any transfer or sign any transaction, uh, you, can you, you must meet certain conditions. So for example, you, like two out of three people need to sign uh, the transaction or uh, one, two out of two. So this is the kind of the 2FA. So if you want to make any kind of transfer, you can uh, have a MetaMask on your wallet, uh, on your mobile and MetaMask on your desktop and you need to sign with both in order to proceed with any kind of transaction. Uh, of course, you have to be very secure with all the passwords then because if you lose for one of the devices that is needed to sign the transactions and basically uh, you're screwed and you're not, not getting the funds. So there's a lot of this risk of losing the, the passwords and maintenance of security is really important here. Uh, but if you, I think this is a really good option and slowly you should be getting into that. Uh, MetaMask is probably the easiest to start with. Uh, also on the side note, I think we will be witnessing a lot of applications in this direction because uh, it's still quite complicated and explaining, you know, to normal people that never used any kind of anything like MetaMask, how you have to care about uh, the seed phrase. That's really, that's really complicated and really turns people off from crypto. Uh, so probably we'll see a lot of cool applications. I will cover them all on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.